Will it take home the title of Top Gun in the West? Let's check it out. Hyperkin, the maker of the popular Atari 2600 replacement, the Retron 77, has a line of accessories, a few of which are in the controller category. The Hyperkin Trooper is a joystick replacement for use with the system. The joystick also works nicely on the original Atari 2600, as well as on the Commodore 64. It's available on the Hyperkin and Amazon websites for about $16. I've been using this joystick for a couple of months now, and I should be able to give a fair review. I'll compare the Trooper to both the RetroLink NX Classic Controller and the Circa A77, and I'll let you know which one I recommend. First, let's take a closer look at the Trooper. So this is the Hyperkin Trooper Premium Controller for the Atari 2600, and for the Retron 77 is what it originally was made for, but it also works on the Atari console. I've also been able to successfully test this using Commodore 64 and it works perfectly. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that this is the premium controller. I guess with earlier revisions of the Hyperkin Trooper they weren't the premium model. I know that it is a different color than what's advertised on their website. It's more of a light, light, gray, uh, light brown wood grainy kind of color that matches the color of the Retron 77 and even on Amazon's website they show the other color the lighter brown and they have a disclaimer that says that the color may vary which is really odd you, you typically you think when you purchase an item and they show photographs of it that that's what you're gonna get but when, when I received my item this is what I received so Anyhow, I thought that was interesting. And so this is what it looks like outside the box. But here, let's do a quick unboxing. So you see, this is how it comes. No instruction manual needed. And yeah, you can see the how the colors are much darker, at least on this one. So I guess maybe they sell both, but it's it's a crapshoot which one you'll get when you buy one. And then the thing I really like is the included cable. I measured it to 10 feet, which it's not even really advertised on the box anywhere that I could quickly find. Whereas some of their competitors they brag about having a six foot cable. So I don't know why they didn't uh, highlight that more. It's really useful having a 10 foot cable to play video games uh, depending upon what your sitting arrangement is. So six feet you have to come really really close uh, to the team. 10 feet is a lot more usable. and all its 10 feet of glory. And then now right off the bat you'll also notice besides the color change you have these little divots and that's for holding in the palm of your hand if you hold it correctly. <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen noobs, <laughs> I've seen new people to uh, Atari hold the joysticks backwards like this or even sideways and I'm like what are you doing? But anyway yeah so that's what this is so it's not rubbing into you into your hand really hard when you're playing uh, games. And then that's also pointed out cleverly, I think, on the box design. When you look at it, it's, it has this uh, right there. And I think that's due to, due to this feature. So it's another nice little feature that this joystick has. And then so uh, go, that goes, goes towards comfort level and uh, now, as far as when you're playing games with it, and when you when you move the joystick and the firmness, it, uh, and and on, on the sound that it makes, uh, first off on the firmness, it's not extre an extremely firm joystick. I would like I would have liked it to have been a little more firm. In fact, there's a little bit of play when you move it around. You can move that. Do, doing this will not move anything. <laughs> Just up a little. 
will not move anything. You have to push up a little bit. And then as far as the joysticks, the, the other thing you'll note, you know, it has two buttons. So you can play left or right handed comfortably. Of course, these two, these buttons, you know, are the same, are basically act as one. And, you know, and the button noise itself that it makes, it's fairly quiet. Fairly quiet. And I'll, we'll, we'll contrast that with uh, one of the competitors here. The Circa A77 joystick. When you press the button, you can certainly hear much more noise than than the Trooper. Firmness is a lot more firm. It's a lot more firm on the Circa A77. However, this is this is the one that broke after a couple months of usage, you know. And I had uh, taken this apart and uh, did a, a basically a glue repair on it, and so far it's held. And then, even though the RetroLink Classic controller is not really in the same class of joystick because it's a USB. I thought I would do a comparison on it real quick as far as the firmness and everything. You can see this one's much more firm and when you hear that click sound that's that's how you know you're going that direction. But it makes for when you're playing a noisy experience. But I kind of like that noise a little bit, so it's just one of those things you have to get used used to. And then as far as the button press, very noisy. Probably the noisiest of these three. And then of course on both the this controller and the A77, you only have one button. So if you're looking at these. And then with the trooper in there. And then size-wise, they're similar. Basically, they're the same. They're the same dimensions. Same dimensions. So that's pretty much highlights the differences between the Trooper, the Circa A77, and the Retro NX Classic controllers. And then the other thing I noticed was that this unscrews. So I have noticed this during gameplay. So you want to make sure this is nice and tight so it doesn't, doesn't come loose while you're playing, which can be annoying. Let's take a look at this one. Whoops. <laughs> ah, so this is a much different design. This design is not relying on the plastic bending right here all the time, like the other one. All it has to do is depress these rubber surface surfaces. Oh, it's got little little magnetic contacts on it. It's really nice. So anyway, I think it's a, a better design than, definitely better than the Circa A77. So let's put this back together. As for the gameplay, I would say the Trooper plays wonderfully. It fits in the palm of your hands comfortably. It's responsive and it's not a distraction to gameplay. So overall, I really like the Hyperkin Trooper controller and will be using it going forward as my primary gaming controller. Again, it's available on Amazon.com for about $16. Highly recommended.